Scoping is critical step in environmental impact assessment. Ang quality sa environmental impact assessment depends largely on the proper identification of the environmental and social aspects that may be uh, subject to direct and indirect impacts sa gi-propose nga activity or project. A clearly defined project scope is the basis of an adequate EIA. Uh, therefore, identifying the relevant issues and concerns uh, so good pa lang is an essential part of the environmental impact assessment nga process. Kung ang scope is too narrow, ang environmental impact assessment might overlook significant impacts na dili necessarily obvious but real and possibly negative or leave out stakeholder na maapektuhan sa activity or project. Kung ang scope is too broad or unclear, ang environmental impact assessment can become overstretched and overburdened with irrelevant issues require a necessary effort and distract from the analysis of key issues. With new development projects, na asya risk of generating site-specific impact as well as impact sa palibot na areas. Ang risk o ang impacts dili na siya muubos kung magkadool ka sa distance sa project site. Ubang impacts are of use while others are not. Ang scoping pace should take place in the beginning of the environmental impact assessment process and ideally include ang participation of the reviewer. The participation of reviewers in this space shapes the EIA or environmental impact assessment process including the scope, purpose, alternatives, area of study, resources, and the type of assessment. Unfortunately, uh, scoping is often done sa dili pa ang uh, reviewers ma-involve. In many cases, environmental impact assessment reviewers are left to determine after the fact whether the scoping was done correctly. Whether a correct number of topics and scenarios were contemplated, and whether ang tanang information and perspectives were considered na by opportunity to solicit views and comments from all the key stakeholders kinsa may involved or consulted in the process of preparing the environmental impact assessment and in what way ang benefits of communicating with and involving all stakeholders ka important especially during sa environmental impact assessment review. Technical experts may overlook key information or sa areas of study na ang local citizen and communities can more easily identify due to their proximity to the potentially affected areas and greater stake in the outcome. Fortunately, Kung mag-try o assess or define sa scope of an environmental impact assessment, reviewers kay dili na magtagan-tagan. Some helpful nga criteria for evaluating the adequacy of the scoping include the following. Are potentially significant issues and interactions for natural and human environment indicated? Are insignificant issues identified under exclusion from further assessment justified? Are the viewpoints of all stakeholders considered? Are the spatial and temporal scopes of the environmental impact assessment defined in sufficient detail? Is an adequate geographic area considered? Are any significant issues omitted? Are key issues and situations clarified? After confirming that the scoping has been done correctly, ang reviewer ensures that na ay solid foundation for a well-focused and complete environmental impact assessment. Ang environmental impact assessment will serve as the basis for decision making and to find the appropriate requirements for the project proponents. 
Additionally, the scope and stage provides valuable input for analyzing the alternatives for project seating and design. Ultimately, uh, this can help avoid unnecessary and significant impacts and lead to more sustainable projects.